Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on Sneaky Sasquatch. What we're going to be doing in today's video is I'm going to be showing y'all how to catch every single different kind of fish. Okay, so just in case some of y'all are confused on how to do it, I'm going to be showing you where to catch every single type of fish. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So in order to catch sunfish, minnows, crayfish, and goldfish, and sometimes schloopin, you just want to go to really want to head to any kind of river, lake, pond, it doesn't matter. You're probably going to catch it. But in order to catch salmon or even trout, you can usually come to this river and usually there is at least a salmon. The big fish usually are salmon in this river. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, this actually should be. But um, yeah, in, if you fish in this river, you should either catch a trout, like we just did, or I believe, if you throw it in here, this should be a salmon. Here we have us a salmon. All right, so now, if you want, if you're interested in catching some of the larger fish, for example, the legendary sturgeon. You're gonna to wanna to just head down through this little opening right here. And you're gonna head on down through this river and you're gonna head all the way over, down, get up on the shore, and you're gonna head all the way down to this area down here where you see this ginormous fish just sitting there. That is the legendary sturgeon. Now, I will warn you, this dude can sometimes be a pain to pull in, but that actually was not too bad. They must have updated or something. All right, so now we're gonna to try to catch us a minnow. They should be, the minnows are very easy to catch. And, uh, but that's actually a chalupin, which you can also catch there. So, yeah, minnows, you can, if you just, if you see any small fish, my best advice you can give you is just, just to catch, like, just, just throw it out there and try to catch it, because good chance you'll catch it. But now we got a crayfish. You know what's funny, though, is the fact that minnows are literally the most common things to catch. And I have yet to catch one. Now, if you're interested in catching some catfish, you just want to head to this pond right here. And just, you see, if you see a medium sized fish in there, just throw it in, and it should be a catfish. There you go, there's your catfish. Catfish are very simple to catch. Catfish are usually in ponds around the place. Like in your pond, there's usually not any. You don't ever catch catfish in there. And there's the minnow. So, minnows are usually located just in the same places as catfish, usually in little ponds. Uh, around now I do know that minnows are sometimes located and I just hit a dude this is not good but I do know that minnows can sometimes be located in um, the lake um, sometimes they are in the lake so in order to catch a bass or a perch you're gonna want to just run down to the lake and you see there's a lot of medium sized fish around and usually this is the best location to catch bass or perch so actually the lake is really only used for bass perch are a lot easier to catch at the golf course um, if you see any size fish like this, then it's a good chance there's probably a bass or a perch. Um, it is known to be a trout sometimes, but there you go, there's a bass. So if you're ever in need of catching a lamprey, you can always come to the pond as well. So now in order to catch the crappie, suckerfish, or um, lamprey, you're going to want to just head to the lake. And um, so if you're already at the lake, then that's fine. You're already there, so that's cool. And that's it. You can just uh, throw it out, and they're little fish. Except for the lamprey is a medium-sized fish. Let's just pull this dude in right here, and there we go. We got our sucker fish. Now, hopefully, to catch the crappy. All right, let's reel this buddy in. There we go. That's her crappy. Now, in order to catch the stickleback, you're gonna want to stay at the lake again. Now, let's get out of the canoe. But um, yeah, in order to catch the stickleback, you're going to just stay out, stay at the lake, and you're gonna um wait until it's like really, really dark because um, that's the only time they actually ever come out. There we go, we caught a stickleback. Yeah, like I said, they're usually just out really late at night. So in order to catch the perch, you wanna go up to the driving range, come up this way, which is just above all the golf courses. And there we go, we caught the perch. Now in order to catch the kokanee, grayling, and whitefish, you're gonna to come to the snow resort, and you wanna just go to the pond that's right in the center. Wait for a fish to bite, like so, and there you go. You got your kokanee. This should hopefully be a white fish if I'm not mistaken. No, it's a grayling. All right. So now we just need the white fish, and that will be the final fish that we need from up here in the North Pole, as you could call it. Now, in order to catch the white fish, what you're going to do is you're going to want to get up extremely early. So what I would suggest doing is spending the night at the lodge, and then the first thing you do is get up and go fishing. And um, hopefully this will work for you. It took me a couple tries to actually um, catch the whitefish, but um, after then staying there a few nights, I was finally able to catch the whitefish. 
So that's all the fish from the snow resort complete. Now in order to catch the cave fish, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the snow resort. You're gonna wanna get on the chairlift. You do not have to buy a ticket because that's completely stupid in my opinion. It's completely useless. And uh, take both chairlifts up all the way to the little station. So once you get up to the little station or summit hut, whatever you want to talk about, you can go down this little path right here and follow this path all the way back to a nice little cave back here. You're going to want to go in and you're going to go down to the right and go follow this little thing on down. Now, you'll find a nice little body of water and we got really lucky this time because there's a nice little fish sitting right here. Usually they're sitting out in the deep end and you can't see them anywhere. But we got really lucky with that. Wow. Hopefully this is a cave fish. I wouldn't see why it's not. And there we go. We have our cave fish. Now in order to catch a goldfish, um, they can be found pretty much anywhere. But they're rare. So what I would suggest doing is I would suggest going to the snow resort. And right where the grass and snow start to meet, go in this log right here. And as you can see, there will be a pond over here, and usually, almost always, there's a little fish in here. If you throw your line out, there should be a goldfish here. This fish should be a goldfish. I've never caught any other kind of fish here. Um, yeah, if this place also looks familiar, there you go, there's your goldfish. But uh, yeah, if this place looks familiar, this is where you find the buried treasure. So, that's something you can think of if you're curious, if you're curious about. Now in order to catch a carp, what you're going to want to do is you're going to head this way towards the town. Okay, you're going to look down here on this side, and as soon as you see a big dirt path opening right here, you're going to want to turn down here until you see this pond right here. Now when you get here, there might not be any fish here, which is kind of a problem you may think. And it is. But if you look out a little bit and try to find one, if you don't see any here, then what I would suggest doing is getting in your car, get back, get in your car, get back on the road, keep driving this way until you see like this small little path over into the woods, which should be right about here. Now if you run down this little path here, you should be led to a nice little winding river with a canoe and sitting there in the water. And this river, winding river, will bring you to the back of this little drive that big driveway with the red box sitting in the middle this is the back end of the pond and this is usually what I've this is what I've found to be a really good place to catch carp if you need to catch them um, I've found that this is one of the best places in my opinion to catch them but um yeah you would just bring them in this dude's giving me a little bit of a fit but it'll be fine we'll get them in here and there we go we have the carp and in order to catch a pike what you're going to want to do is get up extremely early in the morning as soon as you wake up, run to the pond, or not to the pond, to the lake, and you should hopefully see a big fish sitting out here. Now, if you see a big fish sitting out here, then a good chance it's probably a pike. Um, hopefully, yes, there we go. There we have the pike. Now, these are the final two fish that you're going to have to catch. These are the Dolly Varden and the Shad. Now, this took me a really long time to figure out, but the best way to catch Shad is, and the only way, to catch shad in fact is well it's raining and you basically have to go while it's raining you're basically going to go to this river throw it in to these smaller medium fish and these should hopefully be all shad there you go there's your shad um i believe all those are shad as well um they're really if you ever need to catch shad the best time to catch them is while it's raining i've never caught them any other time and I'm pretty sure that's just how the game it is in the game. Now, in order to catch the Dolly Varden, you're going to just run to the river or to the lake while it's raining as well. And just catch the biggest fish that is there. And this should be a Dolly Varden. If it's not, then it's probably a pike. And that'll do you as well. But there it is. There is the Dolly Varden. In order to catch the Burbot, you're going to want to go to the golf course. Search for the biggest fish in any of the golf course ponds. And the best time to catch him is usually at about night time. I've found that that's usually about the best time to catch him. Um, but yeah, if you find a big fish, just reel him in. And uh, yeah, there you go. There's the burbot for you. Um, this is a, a little location that uh, that's where that's where you get the one red box. Um, it's pretty simple to find. Uh, if you just come over here, this is golf course hole number two, I believe. Yeah. So if you just follow this path all the way around, you'll find this little opening right here, and it'll take you right. 
into that little pond. So I want to thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, leave a like on the video if you really want to. If not, I don't care. But yeah, I want to thank y'all so much for watching this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.